My, what a charming young couple. <laughs> Are you a couple? No. no. We're just friends. <laughs> oh, just friends, eh? <laughs> I see. So if I was to ask him, are you a couple when you weren't here? Would he say maybe? Or do I, I mean, is there anything more in it, do you think, for you guys? Or is it just going to be friends? I would have said yes. Oh, really? <laughs> hey, 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 do not judge. <laughs> we don't judge here. Do you think we would judge on it if we had lesbian row and. We don't judge here. Love all the people, even if they're slightly misguided. So. <laughs> so you would say yes. Yeah, would you say yes? You're not sure yet. <laughs> uh, you don't want to hurt his feelings, or you're just not sure? We're just really good friends. Ah. <laughs> That's a shame, because I know that he has a present for you. Give uh -oh. this dude. Never fails. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. A T-shirt you can wear. You know, and we got we got T-shirts that are infant sizes too. Uh -uh. <laughs> so if you guys ever you know get yourself a midget or something, you're good. Are oh, you put on now? Yeah. All right, that's wow. You're an impetuous one, aren't you? <laughs> what, what are your names? Sorry, John. John and, and Ali. John and Ali. <laughs> No, it looks pretty. It looks, it looks better on, on you than it does on him, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so now you got your t-shirts on. It only remains for me to ask, who's that at the door? That's especially for all the people that want me to get rid of the horse. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. Well done, you guys. <laughs> and then the cat farted a bird out of his ass. <laughs> well, uh, I think we all learned a little something tonight, didn't we, everybody? I, I know I did. If you'd like your own Team Secretariat t-shirt, write to CBS Care of Andy Rooney. CBS. <laughs> and Andy will write you a very rude letter back. <laughs> good night, everybody. Say good night, kids. Ladies, could I ask you your names? I'm Daisy. Daisy? I'm Karen. Daisy and Karen, are you related in any way? Yes. yes. <laughs> are you twins? Yes. Right. Good. <laughs> because I have some questions to ask you about twins. First of all, do you always have to go to the bathroom at the same time? No, right? Yes? <laughs> Bladder. She has a smaller bladder. Yeah. <laughs> I started with the wrong question, clearly. All right, no, I want to know other things about twins, because it, it interests me, twins. Uh, the, the ladies were in the audience today. I noticed they look similar. <laughs> Actually, they were sitting in lesbian row, and I was like, nah, no way. <laughs> anyway, um... So, do you like have feelings about stuff if you're separated? You think, oh, she's in trouble, I gotta get there, and stuff like that. Yes. Really? All that the time. really happens? All the time. Really? What kind of trouble did you get into? <laughs> <laughs> We're on TV. <laughs> Not really. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not really? What? Um, like, if, you, if, if you're dating a boy, right? Yes. And then you meet that boy, can you tell? I like, yeah. oh. Mm -hmm. She didn't like the, yeah, I didn't, didn't like, like the one. first guy. You're gone. <laughs> <laughs> And 
Can I ask, I know this is kind of an insensitive question, but who is the evil one? Uh, I don't think I am. <laughs> She has her moments, though. I have my moments. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, do you work anywhere? Um, yes. I work at an, um, well, part time for, for work. You could I mean, work anywhere part time because she could go wearing your clothes <laughs> and then be like, they'd be like, oh, you're here at work early today. Um, Other one? Yeah, we work at Emerson in an elementary, elementary school. You work in an elementary yeah. school? Yeah, after school program. After school program. Yeah. With, with reading and. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's teaching kids to read? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yep, yep. Awesome. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I, you know, I think it's such a weird thing, twins. I've, I've got twin, uh, twin. No, I don't mean you're weird or anything, but I've got. Uh, <laughs> I've got uh, nephews who are twins, and they're, uh, they're kind of weird. <laughs> they're like, hello, Uncle Craig. <laughs> you were thinking about hurting us, weren't you? And I'm like, no, I wasn't. And we're like, yes, you are. I'm like, why are you talking like that? You're not English from the 1950s. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> Dear Craig, can you get me a date with one of the girls from Lesbian Row? I would be forever grateful. Uh, show of hands, any of the girls in Lesbian Row available for a dude called Frank? There you go, Frank. Please state your name for the court. Josh. Josh. Josh, short for Joshua? Yes. Right. Where are you from, Josh? Los Angeles. Mm-hmm. Josh, you have a pulse, don't you, Josh? Yes, I do. So, Josh, you are not, in fact, what you advertise yourself to be. I was really hoping you were a real zombie, man. I, I could use the lift and the ratings a little bit, you know. You ever, you ever like, eaten anyone's brains or anything? No. A little bit of flesh, maybe. <laughs> I'm pretending that I don't like what you said, but secretly I approve. <laughs> What'd you do, Josh? I'm just a student. What are you studying? Graphic design. Ah. <laughs> a lot of green ink in your designs? Isn't it? <laughs> it's, you know, when you get zombie written on your, on your shirt, is that something like the kids do now? They write zombie in your shirt, and then it's a secret sign for like Craig Ferguson sucks or something like that? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Do you, have a, do you have a Twitter page? Yes, I do. Do you really? I thought the young people didn't do that anymore. They do still? Yeah, still. All oh, right. Yeah, what's your Twitty, your Tweety, your, uh, your thing? Uh, Scully Shrooms. Scully Shrooms? Yeah. <laughs> Why shrooms? Because they're delicious. Tasty mushrooms? Sure. No way right now. No, not right now. No, I, that would be like really freaky, right? Because I'd be like, oh. Of course, I, I wouldn't. I, I've never. Do you know in Scotland they grow everywhere? Yeah? Yeah. Let's go. No, I, I can't go back. No, but they do. They grow everywhere. You, you're in Orange County. They don't grow there. Do they? I don't think so. Yeah. But everywhere, like in Scotland, whoa. <laughs> anyway, um, I got to do the show. Uh, you're not a zombie, so. Uh, right, I'll be right back.
zombie beaten by flamethrowing flatulent cat. <laughs> Can't beat that. Freeze frame high five. <laughs> State your names for the uh, court, gentlemen. <clears throat> I'm Eric. Mm -hmm. I'm Macken. Eric and Macken. Mm -hmm. Are you from the greater Los Angeles area? No. no. Where are you from? Sweden. Sweden, you oh. say? Oh. Okay, if you're from Sweden, as you claim, where's your hat with the horns on it? Uh, it's in, in customs. <laughs> <laughs> Calic character? Yeah. That's a Swedish word. It means yeah. character, yeah. Who was the read the read character? I'm sorry, I'm lapsing into Swedish. <laughs> Who was the read character in the book The Girl Who Played with Fire? <clears throat> uh, that's the girl, right? Lisbeth Salander. Lisbeth yeah. Salander is yeah. correct! Uh, yeah. You have each one, as your starter gift, a large-size American candy bar! Yeah. Yeah. We need it! We need it! Why, why are you here from Sweden, Eric? Uh, we're making a TV show here about, like, the bucket list. Yeah. So we're traveling across America and trying to do as many fun stuff as possible. Yeah. Are you eating it? <laughs> that's one of the things. Well, that's one of it. Yeah. So you don't get candy in Sweden, uh, Sweden. Uh, No, I'm fine. No, I'm fine. Do you always save yours for later? Not always. That's a kind of double entendre I did there. <laughs> it's code. You know, in American gay slang, it means, you know, are you a bottom or a top? Okay. <laughs> I eat it now, then. <laughs> So, what else have you got to do on your bucket list as you go around uh, the United States? Um, goat milking contest? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> goat milking contest? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel honored to be part of such an awesome bucket list. Yeah. yeah. But it was a celebrity goat milking contest. So yeah. you goat milk a celebrity? Yeah. No. Because no. I've done that. Yeah. No, it was me. He was the holder. Yeah. And I was the... Yay! It was amazing. Yeah. It was amazing. Sounds good. We love America. Yeah, it's a, yeah. Great, it's a great place. I went to the Super Bowl uh, arena over in uh, Dallas. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we swim. You're a bit day. early for that. It's not for another week. Or yeah, so, it was, we were alone there. Yeah. We were yeah, the only yeah. guys there. You wait, though. A lot of people are going to turn up later. Yeah, you think? <laughs> yeah, we waited for a while. Yeah. yeah. Started milking each other. And we swim with hey! manatees. Hmm? We swim with uh, manatees. Yeah. Wow, you're like regular Americans. Yeah. <laughs> You've milked a goat, you've swum with a manatee, and you ate candy on a crappy late night show. Yeah. Done it all. Yep. May as well go back to Sweden then. Yeah. All right. I want to. Thanks. <laughs> well, my Swedish friends. Yeah? Best Australia day ever, I think. Mm hmm. <laughs> Do you celebrate Australia Day in Sweden? No. No, not much. You know, you might want to have a go at that. Yeah. Yeah. For the Australian population of Sweden, is there a lot of Australians in Sweden? No. 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 <laughs> what about Swedes in Australia? Yeah. Yeah. There's lots. Well, there you are then. <laughs> we come full circle. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. Milking a celebrity goat was more fun than this, wouldn't it? No. Yeah, yeah it was. No. Yeah. You know that thing you're doing where you're touring around doing your favorite things on your bucket list? Mm-hmm.
Can I come? No. Oh. <laughs> All right, then I'll be back tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Be very, very quiet. <laughs> there are some people from Idaho <laughs> in the studio audience. <laughs> Apparently, the big fashion statement in Idaho at the moment is a T-shirt made to look like a sort of dinner jacket with a little... <laughs> It's formal, yet informal. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to the show where tonight it's completely earring free, although you could win a T-shirt that looks like a suit. <laughs> Actually, you know what we have here is I used to give out these T-shirts to people that danced with uh, Secretariat. You know, the, uh, yeah. So you could win this if you... Good. Now, now I can put this aside and during the next commercial break, because there'll be one. <laughs> I'll give this t-shirt to the dude that's wearing this t-shirt that looks like a... <laughs> and then by the end of the show, you'll see a complete transformation. A lot of people have been writing the show and they said, Hey, uh, the guy you gave the shirt to, it doesn't look it's like the right size. <laughs> Keith, uh, take the shirt off and show the folks that, you know, <laughs> we got it. Reminds me of Peg Blairgerson. Good night, everyone. State your name for the camera. Bradley Lace. Bradley Lace. If you are who you say you are, <laughs> you appear on many of the sketches in this show, don't you, Bradley? I do. Sketches that are renowned the world over for being quality. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So, when I come out to talk to the studio audience this evening, Bradley Lace, if that's who you say you are, which it is who you say you are, but if is it who you are who you are? Uh, How come you're in the audience when you work here, Bradley? Because I got twi my arm twisted and drug over here. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Arm twisted by whom, Bradley? There's a cute blonde in the front row over there. <laughs> yeah. You mean, you mean the one sitting next to your wife? <laughs> exactly. Now, why would you would come and sit in the studio? I don't understand why you're here sitting in the audience. I can get you a, you know, a, you can sit in one of these. You can... Oh, I see. Then you'd Wait. have to be on the show, and yeah, you, yeah. you've got your reputation to consider, haven't a little, you? A little reputation to consider. Is this your passive-aggressive way of telling me we haven't done many sketches recently? Well, it's been a while, buddy. <laughs> well, perhaps we should do a sketch right now, then. Okay. What do you want to do? What are we going to do? I don't know. Perhaps we should... Sex party! <laughs> No, I know what we can do. All right, cool. Let's ask ourselves a question, Bradley. Let's ask ourselves, who's that at the door? Who is that?
ready. There. Feel better? Yeah. <laughs> Got my heart going. Yeah, it gets the heart going, and then the, you know, the horse gets, you know, paid for that too, and everybody makes a little money, and Nothing wrong with CBS that. won't be able to make another movie for a while. I don't, I don't know if that's good or bad. Oh, that's very good, Bradley. That's very good indeed. Awesome. Well, it's commercial break time. Oh, great. <laughs> So Would you like? We, no, you can do. You're you're here enough. Your family. You, I'll go and uh, go over there, and you uh, do the throw to the commercial break. I'm just gonna. I won't be judging okay. you. I'll just be over there in the background in case All you right. get into trouble. Okay. <laughs> just don't touch the fruits. <laughs> what gonna... the hell? <laughs> what did you do? I... What did you do? I I cost too Does much. Does that happen every time I walk <laughs> up here? <laughs> It must. Okay, great. So we're no, gonna. No, wait a minute. I... It didn't happen that time. No, it didn't happen that time. All right, well, we'll do it again. I'll just be waiting I, here. I thought maybe the budget was over. Because we paid for you and the horse in the same show? All right, I'll wait. I'll wait here, and you, uh, you go ahead and do it. All right. Don't clap your hands like that. Or do, the, don't do the pistol thing. No, it's out of date. All right. Well, find your own thing, Bradley. And Bradley. ABC don't cares. Do, don't, don't do the don't do the pistols or that or that. These are Dolphin. these are all. You gotta have your own thing. Jazz hands, maybe. Okay. ABC cares. And He's not ABC. It's been a while since I had a paycheck. Uh, CVS cares. And um, these are the people paying for the show, so buy their products. Hello, everybody. Bye. Shut up. <laughs> Hello, people think. Please say good evening to Helen. Say hello, Helen. Hi, Helen. No. <laughs> Don't be so stupid. <laughs> now, it's Chinese New Year coming up, and. <coughs> excuse me. And it, it's the year of the rabbit. Now, Helen, are you from China? No, I'm from Taiwan. Taiwan! <laughs> Do people think that Taiwan and China have similar years? Yes, we celebrate Taiwanese New Year, which is the same as Chinese New Year. Oh, how terribly informative! <laughs> now, is it also a rabbit year in Taiwan? Yes. Oh! <laughs> now, that's what we call in America a coincidence! <laughs> That's not a coincidence, is it? Because a coincidence is a chance event that was unlikely to happen. But this is an event that happens exactly as it always does every year. Am I right, Helen? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> now, may I ask you also, Helen, is that a Taiwanese name, Helen? Yes. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> Are you <laughs> with me? Your, is it really a Taiwanese name, Helen? Uh, no, it's an American name. <laughs> so what you're telling me then is that Helen of Troy was a American? <laughs> no. <laughs> Look, I don't know much about your big city ways, but I'll tell you this. I think the name Helen is in fact a Greek. Yes, it's a Greek name. Is it really? Yes. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> are you, do you live in America now or are you visiting from Taiwan? I live in America now. Oh, that's nice. Which part? San Diego. <laughs> do you know 
know it's still legal to have sex with a rabbit in San Diego? <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. It just things seem to have taken a very odd turn. <laughs> anyway, look. Uh, how do you say Happy New Year in Taiwanese? 新年快乐 But that's Chinese. <laughs> So we've established that. Are you? Do you know even know anyone in Taiwan? Yes, I was born there. Oh, what are you? Do you don't remember what I was saying? But you're here then. Is it a different language? Yes, Taiwanese is different from Chinese. Oh, are you, are you a bit nervous because you're talking to a rabbit on Taiwan? <laughs> you're telling me that's still legal to have sex no, with no, rabbits. No, no, no. It's a joke! It's not true! Oh, good. It is true. <laughs> anyway, Happy New Year, Helen, and I wish Happy you all the best for the New Year. <laughs> we'll be right back, everyone. I'm sorry, did they frighten you there when yeah. they did that? Yeah. <laughs> with your completely rehearsed, spontaneous reaction. <laughs> Hello, young lady. What's your name? Sharon McAdoo. Sharon McAdoo? And what's your second name? <laughs> that's, that's the only one. Oh, Sharon <laughs> McAdoo. I thought yes. your name was Sharon McAdoo. No. McAdoo. McAdoo? Yeah, McAdoo, McAdoo. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do, uh, uh, where are you from, Sharon? I'm from Springfield, Missouri. You've never been there, L.A. Hobos. Is it L.A. Hobos saying, yeah, we've been there? No, you haven't. Anyway, here's the thing. I was coming out to say hi to the ladies and gentlemen of the audience first, you know, try and break the ice a little bit, sort of. And, and Sharon McAdoo started heckling me, but in a positive way. It was adorable. She was like, that's great, keep going. <laughs> I'd like you to come and work here every night. Okay, I'll do it. What do, what do you work in? I am a medical technologist in the hospital. Do you make robots? No. No, I do blood work. Oh, really? You check yeah, people's blood? Yes. How do you remove their blood? With your teeth? Uh, no. We've, t we've talked about that several times. Oh, really? No, no. See, we when, use a needle. To, when you watch a vampire movie, you're like, oh, that would never happen. No. That's right. That's mm. right. So what are you doing in L.A. then? I'm visiting my son. Your it son was lives his here? his 40th birthday. No way have you got a 40-year-old son. No way! Yes, yes. No way! Yes. <laughs> Don't you mean No, come on. No, seriously, I'm surprised to hear that. What does your son do? He is a graphic artist. Really? Yes. <laughs> It's a better job than this, really, isn't it? <laughs> so... So, now what? Well, um, I don't know if the show's going to be any good tonight. Oh, it's going to be good. See? I See what she did? <laughs> See? Isn't that great? Now, let that be a lesson to you! Uh, bloggers and people with negative things to say on the Tweety. That's right. And I, I watch you every night. You watch me every night? Yes, I do. I thought you had a job. Well, I do, but I watch you still. Really? I, I'm home when you're on. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, you scared me a little bit now, so. All right, well, we have to take a break, but um, I think I thought the show was going to be bad, but apparently <laughs> it's going to be great.
No, no, we don't. We don't hurt the cat. You do know I, that, right? Yes, I know. You know, we that. don't. Hurt, do you have a cat? Yes. Oh, you do. Yeah. What's his name? Is it him or a her? It's a her. What? It's a him called Mikey. Wait a minute. You thought it was? <laughs> no. What's going on with your cat? Oh, no, it's a him. A him it's called gonna, Mikey. Yeah. Yeah, it's just Mikey. Yeah. Is he gay? <laughs> At this point, he is. Really? Yes. At this point? <laughs> yes. Well, did you, I didn't know it was a kind of thing that could kind of come and go like that. I... Well, he's been fixed. Ah. Uh, so it's one of those things. <laughs> hey, don't cheer for the loss of testicles. <laughs> so listen, uh, did you have a good time in the show? Yes, I did. It was a pretty good one tonight. This is it? very nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I wanted to get you something, so I, I got you something. I hope you don't mind. Oh. Yeah, I got you this very thin table. <laughs> uh, it's lovely. Yeah, well, it's perfect. It, they were designed... Uh, imagine this is Antiques Roadshow, right? Yeah, okay. This table was designed in the <laughs> 1980s for... What you do is you keep your cocaine in here. Then it goes through. Yeah, and then you're at the top. And see all these scrapey lines? These are from credit cards and shopping. And what... What you do, your your uh, your actor or professional athlete would lay out the line of cocaine and then, you know, and do it like that. Apparently. Apparently, uh, yes. So, obviously, you know, you wouldn't use it for that, but you can take that back to. Well, that's nice. Yeah. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, and you you can take that back to Springfield and you, you can put a little something on it. What would you put on that? Oh my gosh, I don't know. It's not large enough to put in. <laughs> Put a, put a small thing on it, you know, like a, what about a little, um... I'll, uh, put, I'll put a flower on it. A flower, yes. yeah. Maybe a little, uh, maybe a little model of, uh, you know, someone you... Who's your favorite celebrity? <laughs> Alive or dead? <laughs> dead. Elvis. All right, you get a little model of El... By the way, Elvis is dead now. That's oh! <laughs> Don't, don't say to me Elvis is dead, because that's you know, that he's too. been seen in that, he, she was, they saw him in that 7-Eleven, and they saw him in that, <laughs> that truck stop. I love Elvis. I do too. Yeah. Would you, <laughs> what part of Elvis do you like, but, uh, not part of Elvis, but you know that, what, at what period of his career was your favorite part of Elvis? Oh, the 70s. 70s? Yeah. With a big belt buckle and the uh, doodah and everything? Oh, yes, yes. No, Elvis 56 for me. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna, we're gonna have to agree to disagree on that I guess one, so, I guess. I guess hey, but so. listen, if we all love Elvis, you know, no matter what time period, then we can get along. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think we learned that when the show and I did. Wave bye bye to the folks. We'll see. Bye bye. Standing around. Really? Standing around dressed as anyone I'd know? <laughs> uh, what kind of outfit is this, Bridger? Some kind of late night talk show aspirations, perhaps? Perhaps waiting for the old man to die so you could take over. Is that what's going on here? Because let me warn you, Bridger, when the young man wants the old man's job in late night, it looks like he has it, but the old man comes back and stabs him in the mouth. You're a Conan fan, aren't you, Bridger? <laughs> He's pretty good. He's pretty good. I was on a show last night. He's taller than you. <laughs> hmm. Get off. <laughs> Don't you owe him? How long has he worked here, Michael? A month? A month. And in that month, he has his own fan club and groupies. <laughs> And when I say groupies, I mean he has a cat. <laughs> but that's how it starts. Good evening, everyone. Now, a lot of people say to me, oh, a talking rabbit. <laughs> but a lot of other people say, Craig, 
I mean, shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> people say to me, Sid, you're a bit... You, you, you profile people due to their clothing, don't you? That's your theory. <laughs> I'm like, yes, for example, using my clothing method of profiling, <laughs> I would guess that the gentleman standing behind me is Canadian. <laughs> and saying you're Canadian. That's right, eh? <laughs> All right. Now, is that a Canadian sweater? I think so. Right. Now, where part of Canada are you from? From Toronto. Toronto, eh? The only town in Canada with an unseemly excess of civic pride. <laughs> Yes? Is that true? Yes, other, it is. Other Canadians think you people are jumped up smug bastards, don't they? <laughs> Walking around with your fancy sweaters, <laughs> wearing your sunglasses in your neck. <laughs> I mean, what the f is that? Anyway, <laughs> what, what's the deal? Why are you in Los Angeles? I came to watch the show and Bill Shatner. Bill Shatner, also Canadian. Right. I wonder if he'll be wearing a similar piece of knitwear. <laughs> <laughs> I suspect not, because he's been away for a long time. He's gone Hollywood. Uh. He wears cotton. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, sir? Glenn. Glenn. And uh, what's your second name? Bryson. Breast? Bryson. <laughs> no, I know you said Bryson. I just like saying breast. <laughs> Sometimes I like to just say breast in a sort of questiony way oh. and just see what happens. So if you... Sometimes try this the next time you're in, in a room with ladies, Glenn. You can say, well, <laughs> just go breast. And, <laughs> and they'll all go, whoa, whoa, no. <laughs> Um, Glenn, you're going to be hosting the show this evening. Right. <laughs> and I'll be the sidekick. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that'll never <laughs> happen. <laughs> Thanks, Glenn. <laughs> Stop looking at my ass! <laughs> <laughs> Please state your name for the ladies and gentlemen at home. I'm Annie Gilroy. Oh, Annie Gilroy. <laughs> now, Annie Gilroy, I noticed when I came out tonight that you were sitting in lesbian row. <laughs> so will my mom. <laughs> what, Sorry, what? Mom. <laughs> what? Did you just say hi, Mom? <laughs> Now that I'm in lesbian row. Oh, I, oh, well, that's what was my next question was, oh. are you an actual lesbian? Or did you just pretend to be one to get a good seat? To get a good seat? Yeah, see, this is, this is happening a lot now. A lot of people are coming here pretending to be lesbians just to get a good seat. Well, look, <laughs> knock it off. Seating. We put aside special seating for genuine lesbians. <laughs> Not some any come lately. <laughs> By the way, any come lately is the name of a movie. No? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so what do you do? What's your what's your business? State like, your business. I like art. I'm an artist. Oh, I paint. That's lovely. What kind of do you paint? I paint. Oh, Nice. I paint faces. You paint faces? Yeah. What? Yeah, at Renaissance fairs? <laughs> no, on canvas. Oh, on canvas. Not on the actual face, then. <laughs> not on the... I feel such a <laughs> fool. <laughs> anyway, Annie, I want you to spread the word amongst the uh, heterosexual community that lesbian row seats are for genuine lesbians only. Fair enough. And uh, th this goes the same for gay men. Gay men, you get special seating here right down to the front. <laughs> the last... I don't want men coming here 
I pretended to be gay just so I didn't get a good seat. <laughs> Which I suspect would happen less. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, it's all right. No animals were harmed or even involved in. Uh... I, Annie, I... you know how you were on at the start of the show with the uh, with the rabbit. Yes, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> Annie, you've uh, you've never seen this show before, have you? <laughs> You have no idea who I am, Annie, do you? No. <laughs> Bob Saget? No, I, I think that's okay, though. I think that's all right. I, 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 you know what? I'm glad I think it's all right, because you're in the majority. <laughs> then why did, you, why did you come, though, to a television show? You don't know who's... Well, my grandma loved you. Oh. <laughs> I see. Is, is she still with us, your grandma? No. Okay. So you couldn't bring her while she was still alive. You had to, had to wait. <laughs> when I heard I was coming, then I learned that my grandma loved you. <laughs> ah, I see. I see where you're going. Yeah. Oh, that's 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 terrible. But no, you're no, you're so funny. I'm happy to be here, and thank you very much. You're patronizing me. No. <laughs> No, really? Did you have a good time? I did, I oh, did. Okay. I did. But, no, Steve, now, don't do that clapping thing. <laughs> well, you know, people do that, I think, because when you watch uh, game shows, people do that. When they win stuff, they always clap, don't I, they? But you haven't won anything here. Right? <laughs> but I love game shows. <laughs> well, I like a game show, too, but yeah, what game show is your favorite? Um, well, I like Price is Right. Oh, and yeah, yeah. I like some old school ones, Wait, too. Wait, do Matt you like, King. now here's the question, do you like fat Drew Carey or thin Drew Carey? That's the question. Mm, I, mm, I, I occasionally throw one out there. I know. <laughs> I like thin Drew Carey if he would cut his hair. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think mean, that's fair. I, I, I like that. him healthy, but I want him to cut his hair. That's yeah, I think that what happened was that when he got thin, his hair's the same length, but he got thin <laughs> and it just... It appears longer. That makes a lot of yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, sense. whenever I lose weight, my hair seems to appear longer, but isn't. <laughs> I don't know if you, my hair's going grey. Did you notice? Mm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now that you say it. Yeah. No, it's now that... nice. It's salt and pepper. It's beautiful, actually. I like that. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I do. I, see, this, here's my problem. You say something genuine, and they just laugh. And they think I know. I'm funny. I know. I mean, yeah, I see? Mean, see? Just... Anyway, I was wondering if you'd like to take over the show, because I'm <laughs> done with it. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> good night, everybody. Say good night. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? Look there. <laughs> Aren't they adorable? Don't, uh, don't do that. <laughs> do, uh, congratulations, what's your, what's your name? I'm Luke. And this you're is Liz. Liz. Luke and Liz? Oh, look at Liz! <laughs> That's so great! Okay, look at Liz, you just got married. Where? San, San Diego. Diego. San Diego! <laughs> the city for lovers. <laughs> uh, where are you from? Originally from New York. And? California. Ooh. <laughs> Finally, the East Coast, West Coast thing can be put to rest. <laughs> so how long have you been married? Uh, three days, four days. Since Friday. Yeah. Since Friday? Oh, yeah. 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 Pretty, uh, it's working out then so far? So, so far, far, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are you here? <laughs> to see you. To see me? We're big fans of your show. You'll probably come for some advice about how to make your marriage work. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> All right. Number one, try not to drink yourself into a blackout condition every night. <laughs> we'll try not to. Well, I don't do that anymore, but I'm on my third marriage. <laughs> Is it a first marriage for both of you? Yes. Yep. Oh, how adorable. <laughs> you, will, you will catch up, though, over time. 
I mean, no, I don't. I mean, that, that's lovely. So, are you going to live in San Diego? No. <laughs> if we live in the Imperial Valley in California. Extreme Southern California. <laughs> Extreme Southern California? <laughs> Near the Mexico border. Yeah. Ah. Do you have a fence? <laughs> I think I just got into trouble. <laughs> well, that's good. And uh, uh, children, any plans for children? Sometime soon. Oh, yeah. right, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, this is just adorable. Perhaps you could be our married couple that we could kind of adopt and keep an eye on you. And, and like, we'll watch you and, and put cameras in your house and... I'm kidding, we only have that one. <laughs> and you'd notice it. Yeah. 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 Well, I'd like to wish you both well. I, I, I love the fact that you got married. Did you do any, like, was it an underwater wedding or anything? Just a regular... No, just on the beach. beach. Yeah. On the beach? Yeah. I love you guys. <laughs> will you send Christmas cards to me? We will. We will. <laughs> I really hope it works out for you. I think it will, though. You seem very nice. Thank you for having us. <laughs> I don't know why I seem so upset. I'm actually very happy. Were all your family there and everything? Our most family, yeah, most of our family. <laughs> Her dad lives in Spain, so he couldn't make it. Spain? Yeah. yeah. I think there's a story here. <laughs> I think we should do a special show just on you guys, but, but not tonight. We've invited people from show business, and they've got representation. Look at Liz, everyone. It's looking Liz, right? Yes. Look at Liz. We'll be right back. Congratulations. That's really lovely. That's definitely happening. Yeah. Hey, look, Lisa got married. Isn't that adorable? Oh, yeah, where are they? Yeah, yeah they're they're over there, there they are. Isn't that nice? Congratulations. They got, yeah, they got, um... They, uh... They, they have got, buttons. They have buttons. Yeah. Go. They, it looks like they got married in her great-grandma's coat. Yeah. Hey. That's great. Hey. Hey, what? That's that's what you do. No, something no, old, man. something new, something no. borrowed, something blue, no. right? Something. No. And he dressed up for it. Yeah, well, they were on their honeymoon now. They're lucky. You're lucky they're wearing anything. Yeah, well... <laughs> Why could, yeah, and her, but her dad didn't come out for it. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I was going to ask about that, but yeah, I thought Yeah, let's make it get little, really yeah, serious yeah, now. No, so what's going yeah, on? No, uh, so hey, hey, Joe, hey. I'm glad he's not No, there. no, okay. hey. See, yeah, and you've got, uh, I got, got my Jeff, robot there. You've got I got my Australian the lesbian sisters, sisters in the yeah. room there. No, it's all good. You know, I can't, the last time I came here... There they are. They look great. Uh, yeah. they're, li they're lipstick Australian lesbians. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. The last time I was here, Jeff was on... Danny in Queens, New York, uh, <laughs> who says, uh, Dear Craig, my twin sister and I are both attracted to this cute guy in biology class. How do we decide who gets him? Oh, easy. Underpants pillow fight. Uh, <laughs> There's a woman just sitting right to this side of the camera who, when I said that, went... <laughs> I mean, really. Really went like that. <laughs> like, I understand a little bit being stuck in the basement with the needy Scottish guy in the skeleton, but I'm trying my best to help. And when you go... <laughs> right in my face, it makes me feel like we're mad. I don't know at what point. See, you know when I said Secretariat and Secretariat came out, you know what that woman did? <laughs> Everyone else was like, Secretariat! And she was like, <laughs> It's not even a real horse. <laughs> it is too a real horse. And his name's Secretariat. And one day we're going to get out of here and going to become. Uh, singers! <laughs> well, Kelly from North Carolina. How did you enjoy the show tonight? <laughs> Recognize these Australian lesbians? Probably not! They're back. They were on last week. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs>
<laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome back. Good to see you. Yeah. Well, they, they, had, su they had such a good time. <laughs> hey, you smug bastard. Ladies, please state your name for the American audience. I'm Sheree. <laughs> I'm Sheree. I'm Larissa. L Sheree and Larissa. Where are you from, my little friends? We're from Melbourne, Australia. M Melbourne, Australia, yeah. where the show goes out, you know. It does go out, yes. <laughs> Look, you've got to stop coming to the show, all right? <laughs> you're here every week, and you, you sit in lesbian row. You're not even lesbians. Are you even sisters? Are you even Australian? We're Australian. You're definitely Australian? Yeah. Definitely. What's your last name? Oh, my, my last name's Jones. Jones? Okay. <laughs> Oh, Jones! Jones. Oh, J Jones. Yeah, all right. Is your last name Jones as well? No. Oh, so you're not sisters? I've got the same mum. Oh, okay. Well, that's sisters, I yeah. think. Yeah, that's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> so are you just visiting then here? Mm -hmm. mm. You've been here for a while, though, because you were here last week, and then you're here. <laughs> other parts of America are you going to go see? Um, New York. You should go to see Jimmy Fallon. He's very good. <laughs> very good. Tell him I sent you. <laughs> oh, you, you should really. Okay. Jimmy, you should have them on. <laughs> they helped my ratings. <laughs> good night, everybody. Say good night. name for the coat? Vicky. Vicky! Where are you from, Vicky? Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I see. Mm -hmm. Anything going on in your life at the moment? <laughs> so, let me ask you, Vicky, if that is true. <laughs> Are you, uh, are you on uh, vacation celebrating your... Yes, Divorce-a-Palooza. Divorce-a-Palooza. <laughs> please, 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 do not lead the witness. She's in a <laughs> great deal of pain and she's masking it with jollity. <laughs> I'm familiar with the condition. <laughs> Vicky, in the divorce, I imagine there was a financial settlement. Yeah. How did you do? Um, I did pretty well. <laughs> Now, uh, you're Canadian? Yes. Any plans to change that? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, I saw so you're, uh, you're in America. Are you looking for someone, uh, a gentleman friend, to help you celebrate your uh, single life again? Sure. What are you looking for then? Because you're in the wrong town if it's... Uh... <laughs> I mean, if you're here for a douche, perfect. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't mean that. No, I didn't mean that. I meant... <laughs> oh, no. I'm we can probably cut that out. Can you cut that out? Oh, okay. Um, look, uh, what I meant is there's a lot of uh, very unpleasant men in L.A. I worry about you, Vicky. Perhaps, uh, perhaps you'd be better in Edmonton, Canada. There's some very nice men. You've got the ice road no, truckers up there. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, you got the ice road truckers there. Yeah. They'll be gone rednecks. most of the time. Rednecks. No, no, they're not rednecks. Not when the weather's that cold. They're ice necks. <laughs> I was thinking maybe Jeff, you know. I'm afraid you're not really Jeff's type. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's no disrespect. Je Jeff's gay. Yeah. So, you know, it, and it's just a kind of thing. And are you know. things still stuck in customs? What is, no, his genitals? Yeah. His genitals have actually arrived, but they're not for you, Vicky. <laughs> But maybe he could be your friend and show you around and sure, stuff. Sure. As long as you don't go more than 12 foot from an outlet. <laughs> well, I'm very happy before you. Is this, uh, did you come with a bunch of girls and did you girls make yeah. this and everything? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah.
Don't look at me, look at them. Okay. No, not them. That's lesbian role. Look at them. <laughs> All right. You ready? Here I go. Please state your name for the coat. Kathy Damien. Kathy Damien, from the city of? Detroit. Yes, Detroit. Now, when I came out to see the audience tonight before the show started and I said, anyone in from anywhere interesting, what did you say? Detroit. Uh-huh. <laughs> Now, I've been to Detroit, and I liked it, but I want to hear from a native of Detroit. Are you from Detroit? Uh, north of. So you're not even from Detroit? Well, Are you Canadian? Is that it? I flew out of the Detroit airport. You flew out of Detroit? Listen, I flew out of New York airport. It doesn't make me from the Bronx, does it? No. So you're Canadian, aren't you? No. Oh, all right. No. Well, that's north of Detroit. That's why I had my suspicions. <laughs> All right, then. Given that you know Detroit so well, and you are, in fact, an advocate for the city, you and uh, Eminem, um, <laughs> tell us why you think Detroit should be our vacation destination this year. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I see. So... What about north of Detroit? What part, what northern suburb of Detroit are we talking about here? How about Royal Oak? Royal Oak? Yes! I've been to Royal Oak! See? Ah! <laughs> oh! Yeah! That's right next to Detroit! A little bit. I mean, when you say, you know, in the world that I, you know, mingle with, you know, other <laughs> comedians, <laughs> we talk about Royal Oak because we're the best audiences in the country, we say, but only when we're there talking to that audience, right. obviously. Uh, <laughs> You, you would say that you say that to every audience that you go in. Well, you, you don't need to know this. Look, uh, what do you do in Detroit? Do you work in the uh, car industry? No. What do you do? I'm a waitress. A waitress, you yes. say, eh? What kind of waitress? Diner or swanky? Diner. Diner. Yes. You surprise me, Kathy. You're nothing like a diner waitress at all. Mm, really? When you, uh, do you do free re refills at your diner for coffee? Yes. Oh, you do? Yes. What's the name of the diner then? Shields Pizza. Sh Shields Pizza? Yes. Wow. How much does a commercial cost on CBS these days? <laughs> what? Shields Pizza of Troy. Shields Pizza of Troy? Troy, Michigan. Troy, Michigan. Oh, that's my favorite pizza I've ever had in Troy, Michigan. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I love, what, Shields Pizza? Yes. Yeah, I love Shields Pizza. <laughs> CBS Kids. Yeah, that's right, we do. All right, Kathy, we bye bye. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. Please state your name for the television audience. Christina. Christina. Are you or are you not a lesbian? I'm afraid so. You are? No. No, you're not. <laughs> so therefore, why did you cause such a complaint and kerfuffle? Before the show saying, I want to sit in lesbian role, yet you are not a lesbian. I wanted to get your attention. Wow. You've gotten it now, haven't you? In so many ways. In so many ways. Where are you from, Christina? Arizona. Arizona? Where they have the Grand Canyon? Yes. Popular with heterosexuals and lesbians? <laughs> As far as I know. I see. <laughs> Which part of Arizona? Um, Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. Named after the bird that rises from the ashes. Correct. Mm -hmm. Do you smoke a lot of pot? <laughs> nope. What do you do uh, in Phoenix, Arizona for your job? Um, I work for myself. I see. Masturbation? <laughs> It does. Sometimes by accident. Sometimes on purpose. Sometimes on purpose, too. I think I like you. <laughs> so, uh, what, what do you do working for yourself? Stop. Bank robbery? <laughs> Liquor stores, that kind of thing? Every now and again, yeah. Yeah, okay. You gotta, you know, gotta keep the wolf from the door. Yeah. Yep. Do you enjoy the movies? I do. 3D or 2D? 3D. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen uh, Avatar? 
I have. That's in 3D. Yes. <laughs> what, what can you see that I can't see over here? <laughs> Why aren't you looking at me? I get lost in your eyes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I put it to you, Christina, if that is your real name, <laughs> that you, in fact, are playing me for a fool. I suggest that you are not even from Phoenix, Arizona, or a lesbian, but in fact an actress from Hollywood. You got me. That's the thing that's happening now, isn't it? All the actresses are coming here to be discovered. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, uh, off you go then. Do your acting and, uh, and throw to the commercial break. I'll stand over here and give you instructions if you need them. But it's pretty easy. Just go. We'll be right back. <laughs> We'll be no, 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 wait. <laughs> you want to, you know, get yourself together, sell it a bit, sell it. You know, it's yourself you're selling, you know. <laughs> we'll be right back. No, wait, no. <laughs> Take your time. Okay. But not too much. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not yet. <laughs> To it. Please state your name for the television audience. Larry Scotsman Johnson. <laughs> no way, wait, no way, no way. Two things. One, I don't believe Scotsman is your middle name. And two, never talk about a Scotsman's Johnson. <laughs> Larry, where are you from, sir? San Diego. San Diego, home of the San Diegans. <laughs> Bad race. Yeah. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, and also the Chargers, of course. Um, so, um, have you lived in San Diego all your life? No. No. Where are you from originally? Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> it's on the map, so Oh, I know. I've been to Idaho. I. I I, yeah, I, I think I have. Yeah. I've enjoyed your potatoes. I wish I had a nickel for every time I'd said that to a man called Larry. So, Larry, they tell me that you play the mouth organ. Uh, yes. Right. Are you any good? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. Did you play professionally at any point? Uh... No, on Fremont Street and lost, lost pace. That's okay. That's okay. That, I had you, a nice hat on there. Yeah, no, we've all done stuff for money in Las Vegas. We're not proud of it. Uh. <laughs> Why, only the other week myself, to be honest. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to ask you to play the mouth organ. And if you can play it, Larry, in a total break with tradition, I will present you with the golden mouth organ. You may well give hushed awed tones, audience. It's like Lord of the Rings in late night. <laughs> this is the ring. This is the this is the pinnacle. This is the all powerful organ. <laughs> if you can play, you will win the golden mouth organ. You ready? What song are you gonna play for us? Mary had a little lamb. <laughs> no, uh, Things aren't looking good for that mouth organ. Oh. Anything a little more... Uh, I, I forgot the name of it, but I can play it. Okay, that's fine by me. Uh, a three, two, one, on you go.
Ladies, please state your name for the audience at home. Laura Sanderson. Mary. Lo <laughs> yeah, no, Laura Sanderson and? Mary Ann Beaver. <laughs> yeah. I swear. I did. Shut up. I swear I did not know. Marianne, did I know that? No, you didn't. You did not know that. <laughs> Anyone ever make uh, fun of your name, Lauren? <laughs> now, the reason why the ladies are here is to promote tattooing. <laughs> ladies, you have a lot of tattoo. If you'd care to show the folks at home, you've got a little uh, bunny rabbit there on either side. Is that that? Uh, yeah, hell rap. Oh, are you in a gang? <laughs> Is it a bunny gang? Yes. I would like to be in the bunny gang. Yes. I want to have a red uh, bunny tattoo. Exactly. What does it mean? Does it signify something awful? We love bunnies. We can't tell you. I mean, we might have to kill you. Attacked by rabbits. Vicious. Vicious rabbits. Ladies, yeah. please don't mistake me for your normal late night host. I have already got some tattoos. I may, in fact, have a red bunny tattooed somewhere on my person. Oh, yeah. A very large red bunny. Um, can I ask you what your tattoo says on your uh, arm here? It says what beautiful lies you've been told. What terrible truths drown your soul. Well, I think we all learned something. <laughs> I think they, I think they, I think they're very nice though, and I and I want to encourage you to keep them. <laughs> do people say to you? Do people say to you, "Hey, your tattoo will look crap when you're 70"? Do they say that? They say yeah, that to me, yeah. And I'm like, I'm going to look crap when I'm 70. <laughs> so the tattoo will fit right in. But you, you girls will look great. Thank you. Right. Where are you from? Um, I'm from California, originally Michigan. Mm -hmm. Michigan. Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> Very eye-catching. <laughs> Be very, very quiet. There's a girl behind me looking at my ass. <laughs> and it's making me embarrassed. Because I feel a bit fat. <laughs> Hello, girl behind me looking at my ass. Hi, Finn. What's your name? Gina. Gina? Is that short for uh, anything? <laughs> Shut the f Is it? Is it? Not. What's it short for? Nothing. Oh, nothing. So you've just got that's your name then, Gina. Where are you from? Seattle. Oh, city of the north. <laughs> City. The Emerald City, Maybe. really? Is that why you're wearing a green stripy top? Maybe. Yeah, right. Now, that, the, you know the stripes seem to vary in thickness in your top. For example, I, I think I it, planned it that way. So. Yeah. So it seems the optical illusion is that. <laughs> By any chance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you thought I was too stupid to notice that, didn't you? But I noticed because I look at women's breast areas. <laughs> oh, that's right. Put me in prison for that. Why don't you? Now, what are you doing in Los Angeles? <laughs> Came here just to see you. Oh. If you believe that, I've got a robot skeleton I can show you. That's right, you heard me, you bastard. Anyway, uh, so you came here just to see this show? I did. Well, yes. I, I hope you'll not be disappointed then. <laughs> but you will be. <laughs> Think of this show as the television equivalent of a shirt that changes the stripes across... 
<laughs> to make it look like it's bigger than it is. <laughs> Please state your name loudly and clearly for the American audience. John. Lorna. Where are you from, John and Lorna, if that is your real name? <laughs> Glasgow. Glasgow. Oh, Glasgow, Montana. <laughs> Glasgow, Scotland. Scotland. Glasgow, Scotland. Well, you two, what are you doing here in the United States of America? <laughs> We're on honeymoon. <laughs> that would explain... Wait, wait, wait. Wait. You don't know if they're enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> that would explain a Scotsman in shorts, certainly. <laughs> So, how do you like those fancy half trousers that you're wearing? I feel very free. Yes? Well, all right. Now you're from Glasgow. You know, I am originally from Glasgow in Scotland and was thrown out. <laughs> and you know why. <laughs> I hope. I was a little drunk and I'm unsure of why they threw me out. <laughs> You weren't drunk enough? I, well, I don't know if I was or I wasn't. I used to work, uh, you from the West End of Glasgow? Yes. I used to work in a bar in the West End of Glasgow. And you used to drink in it. I have done. I know you have because I remember you. <laughs> you didn't think that was happening, did you, John? <laughs> I did not. I remember you, John. I remember helping you one night, John. <laughs> You had difficulty leaving the bar, as I recall. Was that you? It was me. <laughs> However, let's let bygones be bygones. You give me the five pounds in Scottish money and we'll say no more about it. <laughs> I've only got English money. I don't care for that. As fat. <laughs> Are you enjoying your time in America? Loving it. Yes? Yep. And do you plan to stay married after the honeymoon? Hopefully. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Yeah, you can talk that, but this is, I mean, it's a whole Los Angeles idea. You get married, you have the honeymoon, you go to rehab, you break up. <laughs> Different thing. I see you're wearing a Las Vegas uh, top. Yes. Did you go to Las Vegas? Yes. And uh, did you enjoy it? It was great. I, yeah. was, I was there. Uh, I'm not really understanding. Are you getting any of this? I don't understand. <laughs> what did you do in Las Vegas? Did you... Uh... Went to Grand Canyon. That's okay. not in Las Vegas. That's no, no, but we went from. Right, right. Uh, gambled and drank. Gambled and drank. <laughs> <laughs> Worth the trip then, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it's, really. I really, I really wish you. Uh, did you get married in Scotland? Yes. yes. And was it raining? No. Actually, no. What? No. <laughs> when did it stop? <laughs> Five minutes before we get married. And then you get married and then... And then it started again. I see. So it's all right. It's You're all good. It's normal. all back to normal. <laughs> well, I, I'm delighted to welcome you uh, to America. No one knows about this particular part of America you're standing in at the moment. <laughs> but I wish you uh, a great joy and luck in your marriage and many things that are nice. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's difficult for me to be nice. I'm working through it. Uh, it's something I'm picking up in California, you know. Have a nice day. Yeah, how are you doing with a have a nice day? Not very well. No, I know. <laughs> Try New York, then a bit more can I. What's that coming to go? Uh, all right. That'll be couple. We'll be right back. Applaud because you don't know if it's any good yet, do you? <laughs> and if if you applaud without anything happening, then the people at home will think you're paid <laughs> lackeys, won't they? <laughs> Which of course they are. <laughs> Except you. What's your name? Jessica. Jessica, that's a lovely name. Thank you. Do you solve mysteries? I have solved some in the past. <laughs> Atlanta. 
Yeah. Hey, y'all. Hey, what, Atlanta, is that in America? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. What do you do for a living? I'm a waitress. A rabbit killer, you say? <laughs> Soft and cuddly. So soft and cuddly gets you killed then, does it? <laughs> what kind of waitressing do you do? Apart from killing rabbit waitressing? <laughs> uh, it's just a small hometown restaurant. I see. Yeah. Hooters. <laughs> Is it Hooters? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, all right, that's fair. You can applaud now. <laughs> enough. Now, in this small town restaurant in which you work, in Atlanta, if it really exists, <laughs> well, wasn't Atlanta the place that was under the ocean that people used to live years and years ago? People act like it. <laughs> this does not reflect the views of me, Craig Ferguson, or any of the CBS employees. If you have any complaints, send your complaints to Jessica at Rabbit Killer Restaurant. <laughs> In Atlanta. What's the name of your restaurant? Plates on the Square. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Plates on the Square? Yep. Is it on the Square, then? It is on the Square. Oh, that's handy. <laughs> Why are you in California? Well, I'm here with my brother. He just got back from Afghanistan. And oh, we're gonna is he in SEAL Team 6? No. Of course he isn't. Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. So your brother's in the service, then? He is. Well, what are you doing here, then? Are you, um, what are you doing? Well, we... Why are you in California? Because <laughs> I met him in Hawaii, and we flew here, and we're going to drive back to Georgia. What? That's a long way. It is a long way. Almost way. as long as this overtime segment. <laughs> How are you going? What kind of car are you going to drive in? Well, it's going to be either a motorcycle half of the way and a rental car.
stole my heart. <laughs> Please state your name for the court. My name is Suzanne. Suzanne? Yes. Where are you from? Um, Scotland. Oh! <laughs> Let's just see if that's true, shall we? Okay. <laughs> which, uh, which, which town in Scotland are you from? Aberdeen. Aberdeen! <laughs> Known in Scotland as the Reno of the North. <laughs> really? From Aberdeen? And England as well. Ah, England as well, eh? Scotland and England, you come from two places. So okay. what you're saying is Stephen Hawking was wrong. <laughs> you can be in two places at the same time. Correct. Why are you in America? Because I work in D.C. now. Washington, D.C.? Yes. Are you in the CIA? I'm in the federal government. I can't say to disclose exactly what, no. <laughs> Are you a Navy SEAL? <laughs> Are you in SEAL Team 6? <laughs> no. You really, you really work for the Scottish and you work for the federal government? I do. What do you do? Um, you I'm can't, you really can't say? Or you can? No, I, I'm a programmer. Oh, a programmer? Uh-huh. <laughs> Does that mean anything? I don't know. Well, what kind of, well, you decide when they put on two and a half men, or...? <laughs> um, no, technical, like, computer coding. Oh, computer coding. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so when did you leave Aberdeen, then? The, um, 90... late 90s. Late 90s? Yeah. I was there before that. Okay. <laughs> did we...? <laughs> I know what you're thinking, Craig, you did terribly with that girl. <laughs> I know. That's how I am with Scottish women. <laughs> Please state your name for the audience. Jesse Zenz. Heidi Zenz. Aha. Uh -huh. So you know each other then? Perhaps. Are you related in any way? We are now. <laughs> You're related by wristwatches? <laughs> How long have you been married, kid? Five days. Five days, you say? And yet, you're in the bunker with a creepy Scottish guy. What? Because you're in our house every evening. Ah. Oh, you're those people. <laughs> I didn't know you knew about that. Me and the elves like to come in and mend your shoes. <laughs> anyway, uh, where are you from? St. Paul, Minnesota. Right. Did you have to check with them? <laughs> She's the boss. Yeah, yeah, no, you're actually, you're playing this very well. Uh, <laughs> the only thing that surprises me that you're married, yet you were sitting in lesbian row, and you were not. I've uncovered this! There are genuine lesbians that visit this show! And they want to sit in lesbian row, and that seat was taken up by a heterosexual married woman! <laughs> I like your style, kids. <laughs> anyway, I wish you all the best. How long... What, you came to L.A. for your honeymoon? Yes. <laughs> It's surprisingly not like the TV show Entourage, isn't it? <laughs> Did you meet the robot? Not yet. Say hi. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> it's Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, kids. 
Please state your name for the studio audience. Lynette Sedaris. Lynette Sedaris, eh? Lynette. Is that a name you're given for being a very small Lynn? Yes, perhaps. <laughs> You're overdoing it, Lynette. <laughs> I told you, if you're too good, people are going to notice. <laughs> They're going to think it's not real. <laughs> All right, Lynette. It's a very enchanting flower you have in your hair. Thank you. I wore it for you. Oh, the, yes. All oh, right. All oh, right. Just answer the question. <laughs> Jeff, do you have any questions for Lynette? Hi, Jeff. Um, hi, how are you? Good, how are you, Jeff? I'm great. You look so cute. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Uh, uh, state for the record uh, your shoe size. I am a size seven and a half. Good. Seven and a half, eh? Mm-hmm. Right, well, that's good to know. Now, uh... <laughs> Why do you have a flower in your hair? Is it some kind of festival in your native land? Where are you from? Um, I'm originally, well, I'm from Mission Viejo, but my nationality is, is Armenian. Armenian? Yes. Like a Kardashian? <laughs> Maybe, perhaps. I'm not related to them, but <laughs> it's the same nationality, so. I see. <laughs> Could you uh, just turn around and look over there for a minute? Just all the way around. <laughs> I can see you are sort of a bit related to the man. <laughs> Very excited tonight because in Lesbian Row, which is a small area of the <laughs> audience here where we keep, specifically for, uh, you know, lesbians, um, we have Australian lesbians! Australian! Yes. Uh, aren't they adorable? Oh, that mouth organ like some kind of crazed Australian lesbian. Uh, uh, Australians, these are kangaroo testicles. You've probably seen them, or maybe not because you're lesbians. Uh, So, how's your vacation going? It was good. Oh, it was good? Oh, no, it's going good. It's going good? Yeah. I... <laughs> May I ask what your name is? Megan. Megan? Yeah. That's my wife's name. Really? <laughs> no, I was lying to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, her name's Megan. Uh, how do you spell it? Do you have M E G A N? Yeah. That's no H. She... No H. That's, That's how she spells it's it. It's amazing. Too. Yeah. You share many of her qualities, actually. She, she finds me irritating as well. <laughs> you want to say good night to the folks? Oh, good night, everybody. Oh, right. Please state your name for the ladies and gentlemen. Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Yes. Elizabeth, you got a sore foot? I do. <laughs> Is it really sore or did you just do it to attract my attention? Because <laughs> I gotta tell you, you were doing fine without any foot stuff. Um, I actually hurt my back. You hurt your back? Well, sit yeah. down then. Do you want to sit All down? Right. Yeah. Well, sit down. Go nice. get some chairs here. Nice. Sorry. Alright. Alright. You got some lights on? Yeah. Here, I'll sit over here. Alright. Alright. Have you got lights on? I know I'm confusing you by moving around this vast set. <laughs> oh, look at you turning a light on as if we were actually... <laughs> Elizabeth, what, what happened Sorry. to your foot? Oh, your back, I mean. Um, like three years ago, I got hit by a car. So oh, I broke no. my spine. What? And I was completely paralyzed. No! So I was using a wheelchair. And now I'm like learning to walk again. That's fantastic! I know, I know. That's I did, great! So. Why did you come here, though, if you <laughs> Legit, we only came to California to see you. You're oh. not kidding. I'm, no, I'm serious. Really? Yeah. From where? Colorado. It's not that far. <laughs> no, that's that's pretty. That's great. I'm really excited. So why, if you hurt your spine, is your foot in a in a thing? Because I was paralyzed. So that's like 
it's my last oh, the, paralyzed it, thing, it's so it's like helping thing. me walk. And will will uh, will it return to normal health? Will you be able to wiggle your toes? I don't know, because like with every spinal injury, they're pretty much like, eh, I don't know if you'll walk again. Like just because the spine is so unpredictable. Oh right. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know anything about spines. Uh, well, I know. Now you did. That is fantastic. How long could you not walk? Um, it was about a year. That's awful. <laughs> well. It, it's gone better, so. so. Yeah, I'm very. It's it's like it's a it's a thrill ride. This story, though. Really? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you know, I gotta say, you kept in shape. Oh well, thank you. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey! Could you take your mind out of the gutter for a minute? Well, I was going to do the secret sign to send yeah, you, you back to your seat, but no, I can't no? do that. No, well, well, uh, we'll have to. What we'll do is we'll take a commercial break and then we'll have Jeff carry you back. To okay. Your... <laughs> but I'm glad that you told us your inspiring story of recovery to well, health. It's it's almost like something good happened on this show for a change. <laughs> Beautiful Elizabeth, all the way from Colorado. We'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We're we'll right. Nothing like the stellar uh, beauties in Lesbian Road tonight, by the way. Welcome, ladies. Uh, it's lovely to see you. Uh, here and home. I don't go it? anywhere else. I don't go anywhere else. Oprah? I'd go on Oprah. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. Man, yeah. Have you been on Oprah? No, have you? Well, not the show. Hey. Yeah! Yeah. Wow. Oh, oh man. Oh, I didn't see that coming, man. Show, everybody. That was awesome.